Ngoi TV, informed economist and business perspective. This is a special project really for a lecture on managerial economics. It's a lecture on managerial economics, which is a subject that has been taught to a number of students. I understand uh, managerial economics is a subject matter for various master's students uh, at various universities and the higher institutions. I understand it's been taught at uh, Mzumbe University, and I've been teaching this for quite a number of years. It is Mzumbe University Dar es Salaam, it is Mzumbe University uh, uh, Morogoro. You find it again in, the, in our executive MBAs, executive MPAs maybe. It is also found in other universities, including the uh, Open University of Tanzania. It has been taught at uh, uh, Tumain University, it has been taught at uh, Sami, the University of Islam, and so many other universities. And uh, why now make this a special program? Uh, having taught this uh, managerial economics for quite a number of years, I understand uh, there is a relatively uh, high demand for this subject. Uh, where now it's normally a very complicated subject, I would say. Now it's very important to put uh, a broad perspective, just an introduction. Really. There is no way we can give uh, all the lectures manager economics within Goi TV, but then we are giving just an overview, what you call a bird's eye view, introduction uh, to manager economics, so that the students who will be taught uh, by various uh, professors, by various lecturers, now they have at least an, uh, an, an you know, an, uh, they have idea, they have idea of exactly what to expect in various uh, subject matter in manager economics. So I'll be taking you through uh, five major topics where really the key issue is to give you just an introduction just an introduction and just insist this is a course that is normally being taught for almost 17 weeks so there is no way where uh, you know <laughs> less than two hours the lecture uh, can substitute uh, your uh, class lectures but I'm sure uh, before the class lecture if you listen to this uh, clips uh, the, 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 the program and then after for sure it will help and enhance your understanding uh, very very well and it's very important to go through all the topics one after the other one after the other you know, listening to only one lecture may not really give you the broader picture because really one builds on the other and they are closely interrelated. We are having almost five chapters here. After the introduction, we are having uh, demand and supply analysis, we are having production theory, we are having cost analysis or cost economics, we are having pricing theory and then linking it to uh, market structure. And the last one is uh, long term investment analysis. For sure, this is really just an introduction, but in my view, it's very important for every student, every scholar, and uh, anybody who wants to be uh, enriched with the key issues in manager economics to go through this uh, uh, lectures. You are most welcome. Our first topic is really introduction to manager economics, uh, where we are introducing the subject matter in order to put a setting uh, within which the other topics will be discussed. We are going to make our discussions ar along uh, the topic of managerial economics and it's very important that uh, uh, students or any follower in this TV program may understand very well what managerial economics is all about, what does it deal with, etc. So uh, broadly speaking, managerial economics is one of so many branches of economics. Uh, we understand that economics has so many branches, a lot of branches. We have microeconomics, we have macroeconomics, we have industrial economics, agricultural economics, labor economics, you name them, health economics, transport economics, a lot, a lot. But then, one of those now is managerial economics. And now, what is it now that is specific with managerial economics? Uh, managerial economics is a branch of economics that deals with uh, uh, business, kind of providing uh, economic uh, analytical tools for making business uh, decisions. So it's a subject that deals really with uh, providing students mainly uh, with some uh, analytical tools that will help them in making decisions in the world of business. So it relates economic theory with the world of uh, business in practice. Among topics that are covered will include things like a demand and supply analysis, it will include topics like a production and production theory, it will include topics like a cost, cost theory, cost analysis, it will include topics related to uh, market, uh, market structure, topics related to pricing theory, topics related to what you call a long-term investment, investment analysis. So all those now in the context of uh, managerial decision making. And what's the point of departure here? The point of departure is students who are studying managerial economics are either managers or will be managers in days to come. Uh, but they will be making a number of decisions and they will also be 
accepting decisions. We'll be also receiving decisions. You know, they will be re receiving decisions, for example, from uh, as man managers, they'll be receiving decisions uh, from their boards of directors, from uh, uh, their superiors, etc. They'll be receiving uh, decisions from authorities, from the government, both central and local. So it's very important for them to understand that uh, from economic point of view, how do they handle uh, these decisions? And uh, of course, most importantly, they will be making decisions. And what we are saying is uh, these decisions should be informed decisions, should be correct decisions. That's why uh, they have to be imparted with their knowledge of economics so that they make uh, decisions that are proper in the world of business. So uh, among the key decisions that we'll be making, and this now forms our topic number one, which is now demand and the supply analysis, uh, among the decisions that uh, managers will be making, are decisions related to demand and supply of goods and services. We understand that um, when it comes to demand in the context of economics, we are talking about what we call uh, effective demand. So they will have to make decisions on uh, what is it that is demanded in the market. How much is it demanded? Who is demanding it? When is it demanded? You know, And uh, what are the what we call uh, determinants of demand? So that when they are making decisions, they are informed. They are very well informed. Uh, so among the key issues as a, as a point of departure when it comes to uh, analytical work in, uh, in the demand analysis is uh, for decision makers to understand very well the key principle in uh, supply and demand uh, uh, theory. So they, they love to understand very well the key principle that when it comes to demand, for example, um, goods or services will be demanded in the marketplace. And then those who are demanding it in a free market economy, in a free market economy, which is a market where the free interplay of uh, market forces of supply and demand uh, are playing, uh, really the key issue will be the free interplay of uh, market force of supply and demand that will influence now uh, demand for a good or a service. Among other things, uh, managerial decision makers would have to understand that the demand will be a function of uh, uh, price. Uh, other things being equal, we are saying to terrorist purpose uh, in economics, uh, the higher the price of a good, the lower the demand for it and the vice versa. So for managerial decision maker, what they should understand is, before I make my decision uh, related to demand, you know, what will be the reaction of the people that I'm targeting. Before, for example, I'm incre I increase the uh, price of the good that I'm producing, yeah, what is it that is going to be the reaction of the would-be uh, there will be bias. So it is very important for managerial decision maker really to understand uh, this interlink between supply and demand in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, uh, decisions. So again, another thing that is very important within demand and supply analysis uh, for managerial decision maker is really to understand uh, the type of goods uh, that are demanded. We should understand from economics that uh, there are quite a number of goods that may be demanded in the, in the, in the market. So a manager, a managerial decision maker, should be able to categorize uh, various kinds of goods and now what they mean in terms of uh, a demand. For example, is it an intermediate good that is demanded? Is it a final good? Is it a consumer good? All these have their implication in the context of managerial uh, decision making. Uh, if we are talking about intermediate good, this is a good that will be demanded not for its own sake, but then it will be demanded as, a, as, a, as an in input into further processing in the uh, production process. So really they should be able to see uh, the linkage of that uh, good that is man demanded. If it's a consumer good, if it's a final good, now this is a good that is demanded totally for its own sake, demanded uh, for final consumption. So. Uh, the question of demand analysis in managerial decision making should uh, be able to be informed by partly those things. But also, the managerial decision makers should be able to understand the goods that they are, are demanded, especially for consumer goods. Especially for consumer goods, they should know: are these goods um, uh, perishable or are they uh, are they are they non-perishable? You know, uh, durable. You know, if they are perishable goods, then they should know. Uh, that these are goods that really will not last long. We say they are li they, their shelf life is relatively short. So uh, when you are making analysis of the quantity that is demanded, you should also be able to know the, life, the, the shelf life of that good, which informs you now on how much should be producing at any point in time. Should you produce in mass uh, for a long time or should you produce only a small amount for the market at that par particular period of time? But also, it's very important to see the other way. If, they are, uh, if these goods are what you call uh, uh, durable goods, 
now uh, there's a good that can stay long really without uh, going wrong yeah, there will not be uh, a need again uh, for other costs for example storage cost so when you are making that decision as a manager or decision maker it's very important to be able uh, to categorize these goods in this way Again, it's very important for managerial and makers in the context of demand to see the goods that are demanded. Uh, are, they, are, they, um, are they substitute goods or are they complementary goods? It's very important because if uh, it's a complementary good, it means that um, it's a good uh, that will not uh, be demanded by its own. You know, it will be accompanied with uh, another good. We used to say, for example, uh, when we are talking about uh, uh, motor vehicle and diesel, these are normally a complementary they complement each other if there is an increased demand of motor vehicle there will also be increased demand of uh, petrol and diesel because there's a goods that complement each other they move together you know there is what we call a core movement of sectors in this context we will call it a core movement of goods or sexes but then uh, if those goods are uh, substitutes it means that one good can take place of the other one good can substitute uh, the other typical example that we use are uh, uh, soft drinks, for example, Pepsi Cola may substitute Coca Cola and uh, and vice versa. So it is very important for a manager or decision maker, uh, when making decision, to be able to categorize uh, the good that is uh, that is being demanded, etc. Uh, etc. Et now uh, the other thing that is very important when it comes to uh, to, 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 to to demand and demand demand analysis is of course uh, seeing, being able to know. When is that good demanded? Is it in terms of time? In which time of uh, of, of the day is the good demanded? In which uh, week of the month is the good demanded? In which week of the year is good is that good demanded? Who is uh, the main demand? In this context, who is the consumer uh, of that good? This helps a lot to know a number of uh, managerial decision making and the dynamics in there. Yeah, one has to know again how much will be demanded at any point in time, which will influence now uh, the quantities to be produced uh, and the raw materials to be used, of course, for that kind of uh, production. So it's very important. Uh, the other thing within, um, within demand analysis that uh, managerial decision makers should understand are what we call uh, determinants of demand. Determinants of demand. What is it that influences uh, demand? You know, uh, the quantities that uh, are being demanded in the market at any point in time, really, uh, there is a background uh, at the end. You know, these goods and services are not just demanded for its own sake. There are a number of determinants, there are a number of variables that will influence on how much is being demanded at any point in time, whether, we de whether demand will increase or decrease, whether will be a, a shift in the demand curve, either to the left or to the right of uh, 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 of the axis now really one has to understand very well uh, what we are we, what we call a uh, uh, determinant of demand and I've said this is just a real introduction details will come in the deep 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 in the in the in the in the lectures but broadly speaking when you're talking about the determinants of demand you would say a demand for a good or a service is a function of so many uh, variables is a function for example of a price of that commodity that is being uh, demanded and here uh, the principle of economics uh, that uh, the higher the price uh, the lower the demand and vice versa the terms part us other factors remain constant and i've always been stu telling students they have to understand what are those other factors that have to be constant uh, withhold but also demand of a good it depends not only on the price of that good but also price of related uh, a commodity as we said if it's uh, if it's a substitute good uh, then uh, if the price of a substitute increases then we may see a demand of uh, a good uh, decreasing and vice versa it also depends on the population depending on uh, on the number of people that are going to consume a good or a service you know amount of a good that is demanded may increase even if price has not decreased, just if the population uh, has increased, you know, those kind of stuff. It depends on advertisement. We are saying demand is a function of inter alia uh, advertisement. We are saying other things being equal to terrorist purpose, the more the advertisements, then the more uh, the demand of a good uh, that is being uh, that has been advertised for that matter. So the other important uh, determinant of demand is uh, what we call consumer behavior, which also relates now to what we call a test and preference, where we are saying various consumers uh, have various um, behavior, uh, depending on the age, depending on income, depending on socioeconomic class, depending on uh, uh, upbringing, etc., etc. 
So it's very important for managerial decision makers to understand that uh, uh, the goods and services that are going to be demanded will depend on, among other things, uh, really the way consumers' taste and preference are aligned. So they have to know what is it that is the uh, taste and preference of their uh, consumers before really they engage into uh, producing whatever they wanted to produce. So in this context now, it's um, broadly speaking that the demand and supply really do influence a lot uh, uh, what we call managerial uh, decision making and of course uh, the, the supply we have not talked so much about supply but we understand that supply is a mirror image of demand and as an introduction this should uh, suffice as topic one and now uh, uh, students should be able to relate this to so many other topics that are, will be following here.